Hi everyone, welcome to this the third episode in this little mini-series on heat transfer, all about the thermal radiation. So far in this series that we've introduced the concepts of conduction, that is a heat transfer by direct contact between particles. Okay, we've introduced the concept of convection, um, transfer of thermal energy by movement of particles. And we're typically thinking in a fluid. So it might be water, or it might be air, or oil, or something like that. Okay, and now we're going to look at the third uh, of this list, or third of these types of energy transfers, um, by the process we will call thermal radiation. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so what I want you to, to do, to have, a look at, have a look at this little scenario that we have here, of a, a metal saucepan um, sitting on top of a stove. Okay, and so then we say we take that stove and we turn it to on. Okay, and so thermal energy is starting to be supplied, starting to be put into that saucepan from the stove underneath. Okay, and so it makes sense for us to then understand that the temperature of this saucepan is going to start to rise. Okay, it's going to start to get hotter and hotter and hotter. It's going to have more and more thermal energy that it's absorbing from the stove. Okay. Now, if you touch that stove, if you touch the saucepan, or well, definitely if you touch the stove, but if you touch the saucepan, you're going to notice the difference in that temperature because you will get burnt. Okay. It will be very uncomfortable for you. Okay. That you'll have to run it under cold water to try and cool it down and minimize the damage, but you will have experienced heat transfer by conduction. Okay, because the thermal energy from the saucepan will have been conducted into the particles of your hand in a rather hurting kind of way. But if you say were to take your hand, um, so you'll have to excuse my rubbish drawing over here, and you were to put it near the saucepan but not touching it because you're safe, what you would notice is that you would still feel hot. Okay, and what we're talking about here is this idea that. Even without touching this saucepan, there is some way that, that en there is thermal energy being transferred to your hand. You're picking up this sensation of hot, of, of this, this something hot. Okay, that's how we can test if the stove is on or if a saucepan's hot. And we might put your hand near it and see what you feel. And so then what, what we can then identify is that actually we're experiencing a form of heat transfer called thermal radiation. That is, the metal here is radiating... A, a form of thermal energy towards our hand, okay? And so then our hand's picking it up and there's certain cells that e exist inside our body that are picking up all of that, those signals, and they tell us it's hot, don't touch it. You know, you probably, you may have learnt that the hard way when you were a kid, okay? And so what we have here is it's this idea of thermal radiation, okay? When objects of a high temperature give off energy in the form of waves, Okay, energy waves. Now, those waves are of a particular type that you may or may not have heard of. They're a type called infrared radiation. Okay, so it's a particular type of energy that is very similar to the light that we can see, but it's just a little bit beyond the, that, the, the colours that we can see. It's a little bit, a little bit lower than the red kind of colours of the rainbow. So it's just outside that. So our eyes can't pick it up. Um, some other things can, um, so certain types of cameras can, um, for example, but our eyes can't see them. Okay, but we can definitely perceive that they're there because these, like I said, these cells in our, our, our body are designed to pick up on this type of radiation. Okay, it's the sort of thing that you go out and you sit out in the sun on a nice cold winter's day and you feel that warmth of the sun, this is what you are feeling. You are detecting infrared radiation, this type of um, energy that's being transferred, thermal energy that's being transferred, not by direct contact, not by movement of a fluid, but by waves of infrared radiation, waves of energy, okay? And so, what we can see is that a higher temperature translates into more radiation, okay? And specifically, we should I should be more specific here, because scientists should be specific, we're talking thermal radiation, because I really don't want you to get confused with things that are like radioactive. You know, we're not talking about turning ourselves into the Hulk here, okay, or the sort of thing that comes from nuclear weapons. 
Okay, we're talking about thermal radiation, a particular type of energy called infrared radiation or IR that's making its way towards us from objects that have high temperature. The higher the temperature is, the more that radiates. You know, that's this is kind of how um, how heaters work. You know, or this sort of experience that you'd have with a campfire. You know, so say if we've kind of got a this kind of like a campfire going on over here, you know, and then you might be standing over here, you know, standing warm in your hands at the campfire, okay, feeling rather happy about it all, um, because you're feeling you're feeling a bit cold, but then what's happening is that we're getting that thermal radiation which has been given off in all directions, um, that you know, so it's not just coming towards you, it's coming up over here and it might warm someone who's standing on the other side of the fire too, or someone who's up above it, or someone, you know, if you, you warms the ground underneath it and all of that. It goes off in all directions, okay, so it's in all directions in three dimensions, okay, and then it's reaching you and you're feeling that warming glow of the campfire, okay. Um, so like I said, it comes from the sun, it comes from hot, you know, which is a, a very, very hot object, um, it comes from things like campfires, it comes from, um, you know, yeah, like a heater that you might use, like a bar heater that you might kind of um, plug in to keep you warm in winter. Um, and it also happens in situations, say, like, you know, so we talked, all right, so there, we talked about heaters, we talked about the sun, okay, we talked about campfire, okay, melting your marshmallows. Um, you know, it also happens in bushfires, okay, this is one of the reasons why a big bushfire is incredibly dangerous because there's been an, an enormous amount of thermal energy being given off by the fire a long way away from where the flames actually are touching. The flames don't have to touch for it to be dangerous. There's enough energy coming off that it can set things on fire a long distance in front of the flames. And so then everything starts to catch fire and it's very bad. Okay, in all of these situations, we're getting transfers of energy by infrared radiation, of infrared radiation um, from a hot object. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.